Pero ang assessment niyo sa sa ano, sa chances niya sa Visayas uh, and, and well and Mindanao, but of course we know nga that Mindanao baluarte yan ng mga Duterte, no? But kasi hindi siya masyadong kilala outside of Luzon, no? Uh, in fact, uh, outside of NCR, di ba, hindi rin siya masyadong kilala. So how do, you, how do you propose to, well, I hate to use the word, but to sell him to uh, constituents that are so far from his own? I mean, yung hindi siya kilala at all. Paano ang benta dyan? Uh, I think I, we, I saw a number uh, recently that uh, Mayor Scott's number went up in uh, in Mindanao. This is an internal uh, survey. I saw Are that he went up in Mindanao by a uh, good margin, by a very good number, hmm. around 15% if I'm not mistaken. And that's surprisingly good, right? He hasn't announced yet. He hasn't done anything yet. And yet that number is right there. And I, I also saw a, a decline on the number of, uh, of Sarah. So I think uh, right now what what we're we're seeing is that people are beginning to look at other candidates, even in Mindanao, even in the Visayas, because mm-hmm. they see there there's nothing really happening with the current administration, and why give it to another? I mean, uh, you know, a daughter uh, probably who will probably run the same things. I mean, do the same things like the father. So, so people you, you, are now looking for alternatives. People are now looking for uh, other candidates who could help them get out, uh-huh. get us out of this mess. Pero was so there a lot of discussion? Go ahead, go ahead. Was there a lot of discussion? Because you're breaking the tradition, na yung president sa ka vice president eh, from different parts of the country. Eh. Eto, <clears throat> bilang parehong Luzon, pareho pang taga tondo. <clears throat> Taga Manila, taga Tundon, that's right. Oh, pareho silang pinanganak doon. Hindi pa kayo, was there a lot of uh, discussion about that? Uh, actually, even the other choices are mostly also, also from Luzon. No? Hmm. So right now, again, uh, the campaign will be ran differently. Uh, obviously, no, you're aware of that, that because of the limitations, um, the, the platform that will be used, uh, mostly probably social media, uh, we'll reach a lot of people who's on Visayas Mindanao, regardless of whether you're born from Tondo, Manila, or you're born in Pangasinan, or you're born in Davao. And uh, I think what's very important is what is the message that you bring? What's the narrative that you bring? What what do you what also what's 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 uh, what will be your platform of governance? How will you? Uh, uh, Give give out and, and tell the, the 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 people their plans to get us get us out of uh, head. We're go, we're going to be heavily indebted by 2030. Well, as as right now we are, and then by 2022, probably 12 trillion na tayo may utang utang natin. So how how are we going to get out? Ano yung game plan mo? That's going to be important to Filipinos. Yung pandemia will be important to Filipinos, regardless of Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao. Ka. I think yeah. these are things that should be looked at. How people uh, will will list, will see and perceive these candidates. 